بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In doing one of the labs for Arduino where I send data to the serial port to turn some lights on and off I'm doing while doing that lab again using Bluetooth technology using the Bluetooth modules I realized there were a lot of applications out there for Android and iOS but what if I can make my own application so I decided to make my own application using MIT App Inventor for sending data over Bluetooth in this video I will show you step by step on how I made that video uh, the application I'll make an application for Android so the first thing is I will go to uh, Google and type MIT App Inventor by clicking MIT App Inventor I will come to this page appinventor.mit.edu uh, App Inventor is a modular programming platform uh, originally designed by Google and currently with MIT it lets you design application uh, for Android systems and it's very easy to program it's there's, it's not like traditional coding where you type in codes it's like drawing so by clicking on this button which says create apps it will ask you for an email so you need to have an active uh, email ID with with Gmail okay, you cannot use this platform without any Gmail account okay so uh, for if you're doing it for the first time you will see well you will see this message but you will not see anything else here you will see it blank so go to start well go to my projects and start a new project okay give it a name bt well i'll give it bt sender okay so in BT sender this is what you will get okay this is what you will get for any project that you do in app inventor you have two screens okay from here you select your your well not two screens actually two working areas so this is the designer view this is the user interface this is what the final application will look like on your mobile screen and when I click on the blocks this is the part where I do my programming so in a bit I will come back to this and show you what what I'm gonna do okay going back to designer what I need here is now what I need is all on this palette okay, on the left side there's a user interface uh, well, on the left side palette uh, there's a component called user interface where you'll see buttons, checkbox, list pickers, labels, images, etc. Then there's a component layout where you can arrange the items on on screen. There's media. Okay, so there's media items like camcorder, etc. Uh, there's an introduction to App Inventor video which I did uh, before. You can find it somewhere on my channel. Anyway, coming back to this Bluetooth sender. So, what I need is I need some components. Yeah, so, I will need a button to click send. Okay, when I want to send something, I'll, I need a button for that. I need a label. list picker uh, list picker you can click on this help to see what it means okay it's, it's basically a button that uh, gives you an option like like a drop well, not a drop down menu but a list of options where you can pick one of the options one of the choices and that choice is selected 
So I'm going to need this uh, list picker to select the Bluetooth device that I want to use. And because I'm designing this to send data, so I will need something to enter data, which would be a text box. So I need a text box. Okay, let's put it here. So how my application is going to look like, I have to select my Bluetooth. Then there's a label that will say Bluetooth connected. Then, okay, let's put another, uh, another label, which will be to enter data in this text box. Then there's send. And in the end, I can Yes, after, after sending, I can make an indication that my data is sent. Okay, so let's, or, or I'll just change color for one of these labels. Okay, let's rename these labels. Okay, uh, let's rename them because it will be easy for us to do programming. So, uh, for the first button, now, there are two options. One option is in the components, the names that you are going to give here will be as they will appear in your programming space. It does not mean that uh, these will be the names that will appear on the uh, application screen. So for example, for, for this first button, which is the list picker, I let's call it select VT. Okay. Now this will appear in my designer when I go to my programming from blocks. It will appear over here, select BT. So it will be easy for me to, to know what this means. For the screen, it will not come as this. It will, I will have to change the image the, the text which appears here so these are on on the extreme right of your screen are the properties of the component that you select here so for for select bt for this component the text which should appear is here select bt or select bluetooth like this and okay this is the part where I want to know if my Bluetooth connection is successful or not. So for, for now I can call it, uh, well call it anything basically. Okay, let's say I call it also, let's call it Bluetooth. Okay, Bluetooth. And this is the data that I want to send. So uh, let's rename it data. Okay. And this will appear in my course for user interface. Let's say data to send. And this text box is, well, it's a text box, so I will enter data. Now, if you want any hint to appear for the user, you can enter that hint here. Uh, I will recommend, for this application, I will recommend not to enter anything. Because uh, the data, the, the hint data, or anything that I enter here, will be there in this box by default. Okay, when you type something, you have to, well, let's not, let's keep it empty. Okay, for the sake of simplicity and this is the button so after I enter data in this box I will click this button uh, let's call it send and the text appear on this button is also send Okay, what else? Uh, I need another button. You know, to exit the application, I will need this button which says Exit. 
okay I have signed an exit very close to each other so I can put some more components in between so I don't press it accidentally well I can I can make you know the pop-up uh, for confirmation that you really want to exit or let's let's make it cooler so I'm going to instead of simple exit I will say long click long click uh, disconnects the ID. Okay, long click to disconnect and exist. So it will not be a simple click. I will need a long click. And I need okay on the on the left palette there's a component called sensors. And these are the sensors I have. Well, well actually I don't need a sensor. I need a connectivity. So in connectivity, I'm going to use a Bluetooth client. Now Bluetooth client, when I uh, drop it here on my screen, I cannot see on the screen because it's one of the invisible components you can see at the bottom of the screen. So for Bluetooth client, yeah, I will I will call it in my programming side. Okay, uh, now let's go to the properties of screen so I'll select screen here okay now these are the properties of screen screen one okay. obviously I can have multiple screen uh, let's make it a little let's arrange it a bit to make it look better so horizontally let's put them all components in center in fact vertically also let's put them in center okay so now it's uh, now it looks much better for icon, uh, when, when this application is installed, it will need an icon. If you don't uh, put an icon, it will get the icon of uh, the app inventor. Yeah, I think the B icon. So let's put some icon. You can, I mean, in, in this area where it says media, I can upload some images or files which I can use in within my app. So let's upload some icon for well, for, for this application from my computer and it will go to your computer and select some image okay uh, I got this image which is of uh, one of the Bluetooth module that I use so I just click on this image and upload it here okay so this is the image of HC05 so you can put your own picture if you want you can put anything so then I will select this as my icon for for this application. Okay, this is I think this is enough for my user interface. Let's go to programming. Right. So now the way this application, the way I intend this application to work is that before starting the application, I will have my Bluetooth. Uh, paired with the Bluetooth that I want to communicate with so if it's paired it means it will already be in my Bluetooth clients list on saved on my phone so in this list picker when I select this what I'll do is I, I want to get the data of all those paired devices before I click here so uh, when I click on this list picker I will get the option that are associated with this components and so see the second one which says before clicking okay, so what I want to do before clicking for this component I will go to procedures uh, oh, actually I, I, I will stay here select BT so click on uh, okay okay so select where we can change the background and anything what I want is I want to get the elements here set select BT elements to okay so this should uh, obviously if it's if we select a wrong one it will not fit in here so what I want I want to put the uh, this button BT select BT elements to let's go to Bluetooth client okay so uh, from here here Bluetooth client address and names so this is what I want 
the application to get before I click on anything to get the address and names of all the paired Bluetooth devices okay those Bluetooth devices that are already paired okay so let's go again to select BT now what I want is when after picking okay after still well after picking means before picking so it has already got the address after picking means when once I tap it what are the options uh, what I will get the options which are which are here okay. so uh, what it will do is I want to when, when I tap on the option I want it to connect to that device so I'll go to Bluetooth and in fact let's use and and let's use a statement okay let's use an if else okay, like in program call it if else so that I'll find in where will I find it there okay in control I'll find this in control so what I want I want if then else here yeah, this will do so I'll put it here now if let's see uh, my Bluetooth here's the Bluetooth and there okay if the Bluetooth is connected to the address okay which address okay, the this address which is selected by uh, this component okay. so yeah, here I'll go for selection where is selection there so what will happen is when I click on this button I'll see a list of options and those options will be the Bluetooth devices that are paired and from there I will click on one and the one which I selected that will be my Bluetooth will connect to that okay so if I have an HC05 or HC06 or any ESP or Arduino modules that use Bluetooth which are already paired with my phone I can select from one of those okay after the selection what I want is I want my uh, well I want this uh, list picker my Bluetooth select elements Bluetooth select Actually, I have used Bluetooth select element just a bit before in the first. Yeah, try to do it slowly because when when you try to do it very fast, you get lost. You lose these things. Okay. This is the same as as this one. Okay. So you can just uh, right click and duplicate from from this side. Anyway, so. I got my Bluetooth select element where I want to set it to I want to set it to these same these okay, so right click duplicate and select okay now I will see that I will see those and I mean it is connected now and in my designer view I had this uh, this part which says Bluetooth and as you remember I wanted this to show me that Bluetooth is connected so what I do is this label label one was it label one let's see yes it is level one yeah. that's why I recommended you to rename the label the all these components from here so in blocks view you know what is what okay so label one what I want for level one is uh, the text which appears at level one was Bluetooth okay so I will change that level one text to okay, set level one text to here is the option of text there and well you could have some options for you to make text I'll just choose the simple one okay. so the text which will appear there will be connected maybe I can change the background color for level one change the background color of level 1 to from here select colors 
green. So change the uh, background color of label one to green. Those, so this is after I pick. Okay, if I if it's not picked, if it or if the device was not on, I mean the Bluetooth device that I want to connect is not on, so I cannot uh, call my Bluetooth to connect with that. Then what will happen? Okay. So I can. Well, let's let's use this one. So my label one text should say not connected and let's change the color. The color would be red. Okay. So this is after I pick my Bluetooth. Okay. Next is uh, send the send button what will the send button do so when I click on the send button what should happen let's put it here when I click on my send button what it will do it will take the text from the text box uh, well first of all because when I click on my send I want my Bluetooth to send some text so I will it will call the Bluetooth and uh, in Bluetooth Let's see the options. There should be an option of sending text or right here. It says call Bluetooth send text. Okay, so put it here. And what text it should send? Okay. So it's not just random text. I will I will take the text from text box. So here's the text box which I had put. And here text box text. So the text which is entered in text box my Bluetooth will send that okay. so basically that that is that is it I mean yeah the text is sent uh, I can uh, in my designer view I had another label okay the data label the one which said data to send okay so the data label can I can Changed. I mean, I can use that to know that my text is being sent. Okay. So let's say uh, let's change the color for that. So data send the data label background. Let's change the background color. Okay. Send the data background color to. Okay, we we can change it one time, but when we do it the next time, so it will be the same color. I mean, it will be Let's, let's keep it simple. Let's put a random color every time I send something. should get a random color for that label. So I'll go to colors and uh, well, instead of the predefined colors, I'll select this which says make color. Okay, in make color, I get three options. Okay, red, green, blue. So let's remove them. Red. Or just change red you know you can let's see what we can do with red what I will do I will go to maths okay because 255 five means it's totally red zero means there's no red so I'll go to maths and I'll go for something which says random numbers here random integers so random integers from 1 to 100 so the red will be it will be a shade of red Okay, you can repeat the same for blue and green, you know, to, to make it more options for your color. Duplicate and duplicate third time. So it will be random shade of red, green and blue. And what else? Yeah, we can, the text box had the text which I entered. So for the next text, I can make it clear which means go to text box uh, set the text box text here set the text box text to leave it empty so I'll go to text again and I will just put no text so the text box will be empty which is means ready for my next data to be sent.
that's it that that will do the job okay hopefully that will do the job let's go for the exit button where is the exit button that was was it button one okay. yeah button one okay i should i should have renamed it before so i know from my code i don't have to i don't I shouldn't have to come back to this window again and again so I'll go to block here's exit so exit is when I click oh wait we said long click didn't we okay let's delete this one exit and see there are options long click get focus touch down touch up I mean like like drag drag on screen so I'll select long click what happens when I long click in the long click what I want to do is let's call my Bluetooth and disconnect it here call Bluetooth client and disconnect and close application okay so I'll go to control and do we have close application here yes close application close screen well in close screen the application will be still running in background yeah, so let's close application yeah. and well that's it okay now what I need to do now is my application is ready I mean I can make some colors or you know put some more stuff like for example I, I'm if I'm using this application for a course I can add a label for for a course okay or, or something like that or put your name okay. or add another screen you know add a new screen for instructions or for contact details so anyway I will I will come to this options uh, this option build in build it give me two options to provide a QR code for my mobile okay to instantly download it or to save it on my computer as application file so I will I will take the QR code to yeah to instantly download it right now. Okay. With the QR code I will download the application, put it on my phone, and then I will do my testing. It may take a bit. Okay, it's it's like compiling. Okay. It's compiling your application to uh, to make an output. Now, App Inventor did mention it some time ago that uh, they will give, they will introduce this uh, option to uh, to give an output for uh, Android system and for uh, iOS system. Okay. So far, they haven't implemented that iOS part. I hope they are working on it, and soon we'll have this this option with them. Maybe there's something going on between. It's compiling my application, 50% done, and uh, just wait. Well, let's skip it until it's all done. Right, so it's done, and I'm getting this code, and there's the link. I mean, you can get this link. I'll click on this link if you're using, if you're doing this on your phone. I just click on this link and uh, I can get a QR code software to download my application and I will use it okay. so in a bit I'm going to show you how it's what well, is uh, how it is working or if it's not working uh, hopefully it will be working from the QR code I'm going to copy my uh, this application copy to clipboard and then go to a browser and I'll just go to Google Chrome and paste it there okay and it will download the, the file okay download the BT sender application so I will just install it on my phone. Do you want to install this application? Yes, I want to install this application. Yeah, install anyway. Okay. 
so next I'm going to install it and then I'm going to use it I have installed now open there you go so I have my application ready and uh, okay I have my application ready and now I'm going to test it okay so uh, okay let's test it okay uh, I have started my application and I have an Arduino setup with five LEDs and uh, patched up uh, with a Bluetooth module at C06 which I have already paired with my Bluetooth okay so my Bluetooth is on I will select from this button here the third one that's the one which I have so I select my Bluetooth now I'm going to test my application uh, for this Arduino setup, there are five LEDs which turn on one by one, by one uh, with characters A, B, C, D, and E. And they blink three times when I send the character P. And they will turn all on when I send the character X. And for anything else, uh, it will go to default which is off. So let's test it. Let's send character A. So I type A and send there. So I have my first light on. Uh, I can turn it off by sending any other character. Let's say G. G will be off. Okay, good. And by pressing B, it will turn the second one on. By pressing C, will be the third one. D is the fourth light, the yellow one, and E is the last one. So, maybe if I can show it on camera, two of them. Ah, all right. Ah, not very clear not very anyway so by sending p uh, p is supposed to blink them three times one two three yes there and by pressing uh, x will turn all of them on okay so all of them are on with with x okay and let's off them and yeah there you go so there is the application that we just made okay so okay let's exit from application well let's blink it one more time you know it's fun to watch yeah so there's so many things we can well, we can design with arduinos and these electronics Okay, let's long click and exit. Here, long click and exit. Okay, so that's it.